I'm on my way. I'm running a 10 minutes late. Oh well. I'm going to pick up Todd at the uh, Highway 73 cutoff on the 907. We'll uh, grab him and continue down the 907 until we find the Big Apple. From there, we'll go to Peter's place. Exactly for me. <laughs> I've seen those on puddle ducks before. It's perfect. I know, right? yeah. And it's a pop up. You don't know guy why it's just... <clears throat> And I thought, and it's with the freeboard plus the tent, it's almost four feet. Yeah. So I thought I could have that, <laughs> and Jennifer could have. That's great. The little guy in there. Yeah, the gas tanks. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the top comes off? Yeah. Oh, that's the ladder. There's Buddy on the toilet. <laughs> that's great. Perfect little anchor. It's Paperboard as well, eh? With the uh, Mantis anchor uh, draw on it again. No, I did. I, oh. I saw the email, but okay. Yeah, you just go to their website and you can sign up. These are great little oars. I put the. Uh... That was good. <laughs> Bert didn't care. <laughs> I made two perspex ones. It was <laughs> technically a little bit That is great. The anchor that was going to be on the roof. And you could look through them. <laughs> with your head up like hinge. Oh, yeah. You put it on the roof. And you imagine so going to have the best tackle of all the shins. So this is now upsided on here. And well, I had the bailers. Yeah, I had the stern facing this way. Yeah. So the two big bailers are here and both of them open because they're bailers also for fresh air. So you can stand with your head in here and look out there. Or, 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 I mean, and the thing is that this, you, if it's raining, I want the dinghy, you know, nearby oh, to go ashore and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how, how, yeah. how much will this too. way compared to the... Uh, is that three-eighths as well? Inside. I don't know. It is, it is in scale. That's Notice, notice this is the great way, because it's like a yeah. extension of uh, racing oh, yes. uh, yeah. boat almost, you know, oh, it goes it. Which, whichever way it. you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, oh, great, the Look at that. Yeah. I don't know how we got uh, Snowville. I told <laughs> Jamie three years ago, the first time he showed up with us, he met me on the Trent Severn for a week. Yeah. And the first time I saw it, I said, you got to convert that to a motorboat. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> it's a completely different boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a workboat, yeah, the vice. But look at the space you got now. I know. Yeah, the hand, you can... Uh, I love this. Uh, all so sleeping. does the windshield come down? Is that the hatch? What is that windshield there? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> No, it's just the, the windshield. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. It's got a horn. It's, it's got a horn. What's going to be, Peter? Where's Peter? He's gone to maybe oh. like What's it for gas What's going to be in or? here for g gas? Gas tanks? Smuggling. <laughs> so that's oh, my God. <laughs> that's hmm. uh, yes. There's the checker plate in a foam. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Too yeah. Thick. That's yeah. Really thin. Tug master. <laughs> oh, I've got one of those too. <laughs> any, any seat and you can, you can control it, right? And have you got enough room to sleep up there? On the left hand yeah. side is designed for the bunk. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a built in bunk there raised up? Yeah. On the left? Is, left and that gives me two oh. feet wide by six feet long. I yeah. like the milk and crate. And I'm going to be able to roll it over. The milk crate on the right is the uh, cabin Kitch seat. Kitchenette. And then the toilet is down this. 
quarter berth down here, yeah, right oh, under wow. the seat, yeah. with the galley box will be behind it. It will slide out, and I can change where's that the... seat. Will be on a big box. Peter, where's the fish cannery going to go? Right. You can go a few more clicks further. Too, yeah. You? yeah, you can you go can up to the bow. The cabin. You, you can lie down in your bunk. Oh, that goes out another <laughs> couple of feet yet. Yeah. So you, in the rain, you extend it even further. Look at that. <laughs> but the idea is that you pull that seat back, you pull the seat back, sit there. Yeah. And I wasn't sure about adding the additional windshield, you see, that was an option. That's what that is, it well, would hang back. You really get a rip and A, you get yeah. a spray sting in your eyes, not to wear the goggles. Well, this thing with the eight is going to be... Almost <coughs> there. Oh, he took them back. The vice grip? That's so I couldn't put it on the store. There you go. That will actually be kind of cool. Yeah. Inside. We haven't used it for years. You're oh, totally wow. disappointed. Uh, wow. Well, actually, I have two, Jennifer has the mate from another boat, mm -hmm. but what I ended up doing was... I is there any left bass, on? And I just painted oh, the prime yeah. and white. Oh, this, and I bought this that's the one, right? Is that good? Or no. So these go in. Done. The idea is that it's going to be stored at the house here for a month. Sorry, was so it? Months of time. Mm -hmm. And it's going to cook. Must it. have been that one. Yeah. So oh, that man. That's terrible. Home. Bust away. Oh. oh, that's different. Hmm. How much? That's completely cleaned by your grinder. There's no nothing left on there. So that's. Well, it's better than glue, but is that all? <laughs> Is that all we got here? Is it's just glue? No. We can't do it for anything structural? Number three. Oops. Now how many pounds did that? That was much more than the last one. Sight. So did more of a precision fit, and I did tin this one before. I wouldn't say precision fit, but it. Fit. But it looks to me like the the soldering aluminum stuff is broken, whereas mine has come unglued. Yeah. As, as you say, there's something about the sandblasting finish. The yes. It's no good. It's, it's terrible. Because it's that. It should look like that. There should be a. It should be stuck on, and. It's it's not sticking. So that means that lack of heat. But then we get into the problem where you get too much damn heat and it goes to a puddle somewhere. Well, when I was heating this, I heated the whole plate. I had it on a fire brick, as they recommend. Yeah. And I heated the whole thing so that you could put that solder anywhere and it would just melt. And then I went yeah. like that. But... Huh. I may be buying a TIG welder. <laughs> I don't know how to use one, so you don't yeah, have to worry about that. But. Well, it's been how many years since I've used a TIG welder? It's been... I don't know where I found that. Oh, that's where it was. Um, yeah, isn't that something? Well, I have two identical samples. I still have another one in the van, which is just like this. So I'll redo this one by different method and then compare the two. Yeah. And see, what did you do the one thing? You cut it in half? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I still have the original poor uh, performing joint. Huh. Uh, it does look cool. Look at that. It's cool. It's a nice view. It is a very nice view. So that guy got the boat for me, just looked down by where that car is down there. Right. Is yeah. there a marina down there? No. no. Not well, there must be one someplace down there, but not at uh, his place. He just lives on this road just before the corner. Uh, cold. Oh shit. But you know what? It's it's one degree warmer than when we left. It says it's minus fourteen. Really? It's minus fifteen. It sure seems colder than it. Yeah, it does. Like I thought it felt warm when we got here. It like, did. 
Relative. It did feel warm, yeah. Relatively, and we were in a hot car all the way here. Well, I'm hoping in five, five to seven more years the Januarys are spent down south. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love Canada, but geez. Yeah. January and February kicked my ass. Uh, I'm not much of a fan of this weather. Isn't that pretty? Drive into the sunset. Well, I just uh, just dropped Todd off at the uh, park and fly or whatever the heck that thing is. Uh, it's along the road on the 907 at 73. Had a great time in uh, Colburn with uh, the gang of Can-Am dinghy cruiser guys. A little disappointed with my uh, my aluminum soldering or welding or whatever it is. Raising, maybe. Uh, that wasn't as strong as, as I was hoping. So I'm going to do a bunch more testing when I get back uh, in the next uh, few weeks, maybe. No, we might be waiting until it gets a little warmer, too. It's minus 15 or something out right now. So we'll see what, uh, what happens with that. I might end up building my arch a uh, different way. Oh well, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go now and pick up the little girl. She's at her friend Yaren's. Heidi's out with her friends tonight. Uh, it's our Sunday night get together, so it's daddy-daughter time when I get home. How's this light look? Should have those freakies. Safety glasses on with this. That's the milk run to Kitchener. Back in the city now, there's uh snow banks across some of the streets here. Just outside of the city by the airport it was really bad. Like they haven't plowed. And all the snow from the city, or most of the snow from the city, is just out there in miles. Going to get a little one. Did she have to pet it? Things, the little girl's hat. That smells weird, Jazzy. It smells it's borax. Something. It's bor No, that's not borax. I smell it's some type of. Smells too pretty to be borax. Mm. Oh. So you like it? I don't like it. I don't then like why it. do you say it's too pretty to be borax? Because I don't like that pretty smell. What pretty smell? That. <laughs> 